Hello there guys, Feng Fur here. Oh yes, a, a new update to the Synergies mod. So, for those of you that have watched the old video, um, that's kind of dated now, and this is kind of an, an update to how to actually install it properly now. So, there was a massive update yesterday for Torchlight 2, which includes new content and the ability to mod. Oh yeah, Guts is now out. Brilliant. There's also a Steam Workshop now, so that's even better. So, it's, it's slightly different. So, for Steam users, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is go to the Workshop, click on the mod you want. So, for example, we want Synergy's mod. Then all you need to do is subscribe to it. Now, I'm going to subscribe to it, naturally. I'm also subscribed to the High Loot version. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually start the damn game. So, let's do that. Let's play the game. Now, this is the new launcher. So, as you can see, you've got two choices. You have either play Torchlight 2 vanilla or play it with mods. So, let's click mods. Okay, now it brings you to this mod launcher screen. Now, I do believe the Runic version also has this mod launcher screen. So, I'll worry about too much about that. Right, so as you can see, we just take these off, and there's no mods at all now. So if we click on Synergies mod, that will load it up. And we need to click High Loot as well, because I like lots and lots and lots of gorgeous loot off, off my enemies. Yes! Anyway, for High Loot to work with uh, the mod, it needs to be actually higher up in the order. As you can see, it actually says it on the mod itself. Make sure this mod is privatised over top of Synergies for it to work. So we shall do that. So I move the oil lighted earlier and move it later. So we need some oh, photos over the top. Oh, I, I don't know which way that's actually. Let's, oh, fuck it. Let's put it that way for the time being. Right, okay. So we're going to play it with mods now. So let's crack on and see if it works. Please work. <laughs> Come on, load up. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, you're being a bell and not responding. Brilliant. Okay, so, uh, uh, bear in mind as well, obviously, when you load up with mods, it will take a tad bit longer to load up, you know, you need to give, you need to give that a bit of thought. So let's go to New Game. And as you can see, we've got the new Synergies mod on there, and, oh, we've got Necromancer, we've got Paladin, and we've got Warlock, brilliant. Let's have a start off with Paladin, like that. And then, as you can see, we've got a few new, uh, few new pets, uh, including the Stag, oh, yes. There we go. Brilliant, let's just crack on that. Single player, let's have a quick look, see if it works. As it should. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Load up, you bar stool. There we go. Right. So, we need to skip that. And there we go. It's working as intended. Brilliant. Excellent. Now, of course, the Paladin is a work in progress, as you can clearly see. And most of the skills don't even exist yet. So, yeah. But the fact it works is pretty cool and no problems yet whatsoever. So, however, and I do mean however, I did have problems getting this mod to work on my laptop. Now, what I had to do, because uh, what would happen is when I tried to load up with any mod, didn't matter which one it was, it would just completely crash. And, yeah, it would go to the debug thing and you got to send a report and blah, blah, blah. So, what I had to do, there's actually two ways you can go about doing this. Um, try this way first. So, right-click Torchlight 2, go to Properties, go to Local Files, and verify the integrity of the game cache. When you click that, it'll go through it and see if there's any files missing. Now, usually that will fix it. Uh, Always make sure to unsubscribe then resubscribe after the verification is done. Now, if that doesn't work, what I, what I had to do is I had to actually remove Torchlight 2 from my computer completely, just uninstall it, just delete local content, and then reinstall it. Now, of course, uh, I won't read really it too bothered about my saves because obviously, um, obviously they don't really have any saves on the laptop anyway. But for people that want to keep their saves, um, to actually find where your saves are, just get to your search bar here, and just type in Runic. So there we go, we've got Runic Games there, you click on that. Then we go to Torchlight 2, and here we go, we've got saves here. So this is your vanilla saves, okay. As you can see, this is all my vanilla stuff that I've got. So what you want to do is you want to co uh, copy and paste that somewhere else, 
for the time being and then when you obviously reinstall torchlight to just plop it back there and this is your mod save now this one is important this one this one's the one that, that you use for mods so as you can see that that's the characters i've actually made um i've actually i've actually tried to make this video twice already as you can clearly see so yeah but it's pretty simple again just copy and, and just paste it back into the folder which it was in okay very simple and that's pretty much it for the uh, steam version torchlight 2 uh while we're here if you're interested in using guts if you have the steam version and you don't know actually how to download it because i even i had trouble you go to library you go to tools and it's actually here torchlight 2 guts you just need to install it and then pff, i don't know goon you can have a million drop gold, whatever you want, you know, you can do whatever you want, it's Guts. There's also a wiki for Guts, which I shall link in the description, and that shows you how to basically use it, kind of. It's still in development, so, you know, I'll give it a chance, and yeah. I'd like to point out as well, obviously, because of these mods being integrated onto Steam Workshop, some of them are still a bit dodgy, so just bear that in mind. So you will sometimes probably still get crashes regardless whether you've done this method, so just bear that in mind, okay? Now, for people that have the Runic version, now obviously I can't really show you this because I don't have the Runic version. However, I do know the process of how to get it working. So, if you go to Synergy's mod, the actual site you pick a patch and you click there to download and you save the file yeah wait for it to download then you extract it and then what you have to do then is with the mod files that you've extracted you have to go to documents my games ruined games torchlight 2 and mods now bearing in mind uh, when w the first time you install torchlight 2 you get to pick where you actually put you know put the actual uh, files so it might be different from this you need to find it yourself but you can easily find that out just by searching in there and just typing in runic games simple as that or even just torchlight 2 it's as simple as that right then you need to put those mods files into the actual mods folder okay then all you need to do then is you should be able to run the mod launcher as i did just with um, the steam version and then just enable synergies and then you're pretty much off so guys i hope that's helped you i'd like to also point out for those of you that don't even own torchlight 2 yet look hang on whoa <laughs> oops fail look it's 50 percent off come on guys if you haven't already got this it's a, it's a cracking game the fact that we've now got guts there's not a better time to actually get this game really isn't it and there's also a four pack if you want your friends to play as well don't forget all mods uh most mods work on multiplayer i know synergies does so most mods will work on multiplayer and it's pretty cool guys so you know i'm so glad that guts is now out and it's great it's great so there you go i hope that's helped you try and install the game properly uh, just 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 leave a comment if you're still having troubles and uh I think that's it guys, I'll see you later.